Hey, Zach, ready for some heat? Yeah, Zach, let's hit it. I was in my room the other day, bottom floor, and I thought to myself, man, it's freezing. I mean, absolutely, positively downright cold. So I moseyed on upstairs, and it was just toasty, like a toaster. Well, as I soon discovered, that was convection, my friends. Warm air rising and cold air sinking. In the winter, heat can't be beat when it's rising off of the street. Now, is it heat? Let me fill you in on something, Mr. Kinnear's sixth period class. When the sun's out, you feel warmer. Am I right? I'm right. And when you go in the shade, you're so much cooler, colder, mighty finely not hot. This is radiation, me compadres. Waves of heat from the sun. In the winter, heat can be beat. When it's rising off of the street. Now it isn't heat in me. You watch cooking shows and you see them chefs use pots and pans, no? Yes. And the material, stuff, food, fixings, grow begins to sizzle, melt. Heat up, cook. And you think to yourself, why does this miracle of mankind happen? Well, I say to you now, it's because of conductivity, the flow of heat between objects that touch. In the winter, heat can be beat when it's rising off of the street. Now it isn't heat in me. These are the three heats, my friends. Convection, radiation, and conductivity. Cause heat can't be beat. It's the greatest, most wonderful feat. You'll thank this winter when you're out on the street.